I am so excited about this week's empowerment tip. Today's topic is knowing the real you and your assignment. I emphasize the real you because today we are not talking about the Photoshop edited version of you that you post on social media, but we're talking about you with all your strengths, all your power, all your potential, but also you, us, and all of our frailties, our shortcomings, because it's all of those things working together that really make us who we are. You don't have to hide your flaws or hide your frailties. Embrace your strengths, but also embrace those growing edges. We want to talk today about not just knowing who you are, but also being able to know and identify your assignment. There's something that you were put on this earth to do. Listen, you are not just taking up space. You were not an incident or an accident. You are here on purpose with purpose. Come on, ladies. It's essential that you identify what makes you stand out, what makes you unique. Maybe it's your laugh, maybe it's your smile, maybe it's that drive that even when you're tired or even at a place beyond tired, as one of my mentors often says, that you keep moving and you keep going forward. Not only is knowing who you are, what you bring to the table, knowing your worth and your value important, but it's also important that you are able to identify your assignment. You are not called to do everything, but I often say, give your everything to that which you are called. Listen, I know it's easy, but we have to get out of this mindset of thinking that ability equals assignment. Just because you can does not mean you're called. You have to really get to that place because people are often going to be pulling on you for your wisdom, your encouragement. Hey, can you bake, a, can you bake some cakes for the bake sale tomorrow? Can you pick up the three kids on the way to soccer and t-ball and gymnastics? Listen, it can be overwhelming. Assignments change, seasons change, but you wanna be able to know who you really are and what is your assignment for this season. I've often found in life that one of the quickest ways to waste time is to be all over the place. I mean, think about it. Come on, ladies. Have you ever been looking maybe for your keys or uh, for your purse? And because you were in such a hurry, you had worked yourself up, maybe the item you were looking for was right there. But because you were all over the place, you couldn't even put your hands on it. That's often how we are sometimes with our life's purposes and assignments. We're all over the place and we're actually running nowhere fast. We're not accomplishing anything. We're frustrated. And I've also found that one of the most frustrating places in life is when you're not operating in your purpose and you're not fulfilling your assignment. There is no amount of money or fame that can take the place of your, the personal fulfillment that you'll gain from walking in your assignment. So whether you are starting that business, whether you are working diligently in that nonprofit, whether you're bringing joy to those who have been counted out and looked over, maybe you're that voice for the marginalized, whatever your assignment is, listen, give it your all, go forward. Don't worry about all those around you who are kind of, you know, looking side eye, trying to figure out what you're doing. Listen, it may not always make sense to you either, but there's something so powerful, something so major inside of you. There's so much potential, so much power. And then when you identify what your assignment really is and who you really are, then you operate in what I call is your grace flow. Your grace flow is that place where you're able to juggle it all and make it look easy. Not that it is easy, but because you've identified who you are and what your assignment is, you do it and you do it well and you make it look good, but it's really the grace of God that is giving you that strength, giving you that power because you know at the end of the day that it's really bigger than you. Ladies, please begin to identify who you really are. Celebrate your strengths, embrace those weaknesses. Let them work together to make them the awesome you that you are and identify your assignment. You don't have to be everything all the time to everybody, but what you possess and who you are is important. 
Well, that's our Hey Ladies tip for today. You go out there, be the best you you can be, and you operate in that grace flow.